everyone, Joel Anson here, and today we are outside Fountain Diner. Yes, that is the Langford. Fountain Diner here in Langford, just outside Victoria on Vancouver Island. So Vancouver Island, my first time being over here is really, really cool. It's been beautiful so far. That's what it's known for. It's known for pleasant scenery and it is very much fulfilling. So here we're gonna do their famous five pound burger challenge. Yes, that is right. So it is a five pound fountain burger, burger challenge. So essentially it is a burger, it weighs five pounds, uh, a couple pounds of meat, big buns, etc. Most notably known by Furious Pete. He held the record for like almost 10 years. Then we had Mr. Scott. Scott, uh, my good friend Scott, came and beat that record. Um, so he has the current record. So Scott and I are doing it again today. Scott's second time doing it, my first time doing it. Oh, we're not going for records though, I don't think. We just did another challenge, guys. I'm exhausted, but I'm not over here often. This is my first time here, like I said. So while you're in the area, you gotta make the best of it. So let's go in, eat a big burger challenge, have some fun, eat some food. We only have 30 minutes to do so. And that's about it. I think it's like 40 bucks, we fail. Wish us luck, let's go eat. Hey everyone, real quick one thing to sponsor today's video being Soundcore and show you the new Life A2NC. So the Life A2NC is an in-ear headphone with multi-mode noise cancellation, thumping sound, and super clear calls. They're super awesome for when I'm on the go. You get 35 hours to play time with the case and the headphones. You can literally charge them for 10 minutes and listen for an hour and a half. So like seriously, you are set all day. There's also single bud listening, so you don't have to worry about fiddly connections or complex setup. It's super easy to use. The multi-mode noise cancellation is awesome you can also set it so you have a transparency mode or just a normal mode so whether you're out and about and you're enjoying a lovely sunny day like I am or on a busy bus you can definitely find the mode for you indoor outdoor transportation etc as I mentioned the sounds freaking awesome there's a lot of bass but it's so clear and what else I love for is super clear calls Seriously, you can be anywhere and you can have a beautiful conversation. There's literally six microphones. So whether you're literally having conversation on a busy street, maybe you're having a conversation out in a bus, it works perfectly well. And you're not hearing the external noises and neither are they. So that definitely click the link down below, use that code and get yourself a pair of Soundcore Life A2 NCs today. Seriously, you will not regret it. Awesome headphone, I really, really enjoy them. So you want some thumping sound, you want clear calls and excellent noise cancellation. Definitely the pair of headphones for you. So that let's get to the rest of the video. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenge. So yes, the Alpine Burger, the Fountain Burger Challenge. So definitely a big one, uh, but it looks really good. So yeah, we got two different kinds of cheese, two different patties, um, total about three, let's say three best, about three pounds of beef, yeah. and then everything else. So it looks solid, guys. Like we said, 30 minutes. No complaints. It actually looks like a really good burger. I'm uh, definitely feeling this one. So yeah, but basically that's about it. Scott, any words? No, I just, uh, I remember trying it last time. It was a really good burger and I can't wait to dig in myself. Well, when you're in Langford. That's right. Well, here we are. Let's do it. Alrighty, everyone, so we'll get started here. Let's say at the count of, we'll say five, four, three, two, one. Good luck, Scott. Cheers. All right, I see we got eggs on here. You got some kind of sauce. Oh, definitely still, oh, very hot one. Okay. Mm-hmm. I can dig. Lots of cheese, lots of bacon. Hot. Hot burger. Definitely hot. Nicely cooked. Nice and tender. Hot. Trying to strategically eat what is less hot <laughs> so I don't burn myself. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are here at the Fountain Diner. So seriously, a really cool burger challenge guys and kind of a more, I'll call it legendary challenge in Canada at least. Canada does not have the same number of food challenges as America does by any means. In fact, there's quite a, there's a substantial difference. America has way, way, way more food challenges than Canada. While there are some in Canada and they're definitely more popular in certain areas than others, they are definitely more popular in the US, I would say in totality. Um, so this challenge though, a very well known 
known one, like we said, for a long period of time, even dating back to the days of Furious Pete. Furious Pete, if you're not familiar, probably the most, uh, I'd say, famous Canadian kind of competitive eater, professional eater. That being said, he has not done any eating, um, like any serious eating ch uh, contest, challenges, etc. in quite some time. He definitely kind of got out of that spectrum. That being said, always cool to do a challenge, you know, and pay ode to those who, you know, we'll say kind of were uh, there before you. Um, so as we mentioned, though, Scott uh, actually had the current o uh, record. He beat Furious Pete last time he was here. And I believe his record was it was about 14 minutes or something. It was it was there. Um, so yeah, overall pretty solid burger. It's about five pounds. Um, you eat it 30 minutes. You get a free. If not, you pay. Awesome mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So this Alpine Burger Challenge was actually like a bigger version of their kind of signature burger. Um, I think it's called the Fountain Burger if I'm not mistaken, but their signature burger which had like a lot of mushrooms on it, um, bacon, a couple different kinds of cheeses you can see, then we had vegetables, we had tomatoes, we had uh, lettuce, we had all of the, really, really all the fixes you could say. Of course I had my handy dandy pile of ketchup, love ketchup guys, absolutely do. Um, with this challenge as well, um, I want to say a huge thank you to all the staff. They were very, very accommodating. They were very, very friendly. And that, again, always helps make the experience um, because, hey, we like to eat and they do too. <laughs> this is me enjoying it. <laughs> I guess so. He So this place is located on uh, Vancouver Island, which is really, really cool, just off the coast of Vancouver. It's an absolutely huge, huge island, guys, but it's so beautiful, so scenic, so definitely check out the end of the video where I have some footage. So about three and a half minutes in, so I'm pretty well. We're both down a burger patty. Both well, blanch. Scott, how you doing? Yes. Doing good. Just trying to enjoy it today. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking our time. But is that everybody? I believe that's all the info I have to uh, really share with you today. Again, overall, straightforward. Um, pretty solid and I want to say, you know, half traditional five pound burger challenge. Again, great staff. Food was overall uh, very enjoyable as well. It is a cool little diner. They're only open really like in the days. I think they're like nine to three or whatever every day. Um, but it's a cool little place if you're over in the area. So definitely, guys, if you're over there, go check it out. If you're going to do the burger challenge, hey, that's up to you. But of course, you can always get yourself some other items. So everybody, let's get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. And ultimately, we're going to try to get some wins. We'll see if Scott can beat his previous record. And like I said, we weren't feeling 100%, but I tell you what, guys, no complaints. I like burgers. Burgers are solid. So if you like burgers, let me know. And at that, let's eat the rest of this burger. Hopefully. And hopefully finish. So we're six minutes in, going really well. Start to film out. We'll get it done.
we'll just, just down the bunch. He's number one competitive eater in Canada, so. Yeah, I'm right here. So. <laughs> and we are seven and a half minutes in, both going out. Scott, I have 16% left on my battery. Uh oh. His battery died. We're gonna hurry up. <laughs> Ten and a half minutes in, Joel's just finishing the last of his bun. I got a few Scotty scoops here and some buns, and uh, yeah, we'll see if I can get the the old time that I had before. Don't think so this time, but got about three just minutes now. Well. Four minutes left. Four minutes left to shot. All right, everybody, so really quick, because there's a lot of people that kind of skip ahead and skip through the videos, and I know you watching this and hearing this now are not one of them. So first off, you rock. So let's play a trick on them. Comment down below right now, say, she is so wet, dot, dot, dot. Or, oh my gosh, she was so wet. So let's do it, guys. Let's play a trick on them. That way they're gonna come back, they're gonna find that point in this video, and they're gonna have a good laugh. So do it right now, and let's see all these ridiculous responses. Don't eat things with a knife, kids. 
<laughs> Don't do anything I do, to be honest. Although you can come here. It's a very fine establishment. Great people. Mm -hmm. And we were done. So it would be about 12, 30, about 12 minutes, 30 seconds. Nah. Somewhere about there. It's a very delicious burger. Um, Scott just finishing up, just down to some breads. So two on in, Scott continues to crush that. And good job, dude. But keep it up. I got 11% on the battery. Is that a new record? So you got it covered. Is that a new record? 1230. Here it is, on the ground there, set there. Paper. Receipt. Oh, wow, excuse me. Receipt from 10 years ago. Scott, yeah, a couple minutes left in my battery. Oh, really. mm -hmm. <sighs> oh. This is ready. Fourteen minutes in, my battery is about to die, but Scott is crushing it. He just has one half burger left. Excuse my reach, Scott. But he'll get it done here in just a second. And they got milkshakes. Mm. We're both looking forward to having a milkshake. So. Extra motivation for you, brother. Absolutely crushing it. So that's doing real well. A little bit of water to dunk in it, it definitely helps a little bit. One or two jewel bites, so about four or five of my bites. He got it. Excuse me. Hello. Request. 
Yep. What do you want? Justin Bieber. Lonely. <laughs> How does that go? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would know. If I know the song. I could sing. Anyway, Scott is finished. Woo! <laughs> 17, yeah, it's about 17 and a half. So good job, Scott. Thank you. Crushed your brother. Boom. So there you go, guys. We finished. And the, the biggest challenge was racing the freaking battery those guys got. <laughs> but we actually did it. So that everybody, thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks over here at the Foundator. Uh, we may be getting some dessert. My battery li yeah. lake lives. I'll share with you. And if not, no, we're going to enjoy it very much. <laughs> so everybody, until next time, stay happy, really hungry, happy eating. Hope you enjoy. If you're ever in the area, please, please feel free to stop by. Definitely come check out Vancouver Island. Very beautiful spot. Um, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And when you're here in Langford, just, you can't beat it. So everybody, have a lovely day. Don't do what we do. Live a lovely life. Any words? No, just eat. <laughs> eat, eat. Eat like not us. Yeah. Eat normal. Be, be, be healthy. Talk to someone, buddy. All right. And here we got a t-shirt. It says, I KO'd the Alpine Burger at the Fountain Diner. It's, uh, it's a little big, I think, but always cool to get a shirt. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful coast here. Beautiful scenery, beach down here, and Vancouver Island, Nanaimo. Right. Beautiful. And here we are at Piper's Lagoon. Woo! Piper's Lake Lagoon or something. But look at this, look at the freaking beach, guys. Look at the water. This is the beautiful Pacific Ocean. Go down there, it's clear. Yeah, the air is aesthetic. The air is super fresh. Gorgeous beach, gorgeous scenery. We're gonna see a little island thingy thing before we have a big old burger and yeah, beautiful. Everyone, and look how clear this water is. Like it's actually clear. You can see right through it. This is insane. My gosh. Like, okay, that is that is absolutely insane. Like I can't believe there's not even tinges of blue or green or anything. Like, I've spent a lot of time on the uh, East Coast on the Atlantic and generally there's at least a tinge of color, but this is, Crystal, crystal, crystal clear. I'd say maybe I should have brought my swim style, I would have ran in it, but it's very cold out. It's like five degrees, so it's not swimming weather by any means, but the beach is still pretty. And here we are up on like a little, I don't know, cliff inlet thingy thing. Outcropping. Yes, look, and beautiful. Look at this drop. Don't want to fall down there, that's for Get sure. Right over there. With that being said, look at this water. Just the beautiful water, beautiful coast. Beautiful beach. So this is Nanaimo, everybody. This is Nanaimo. A very well-known location on Vancouver Island, off the coast of British Columbia. And officially, officially, guys, this is like, like Vancouver Island, in totality, is the most western point in Canada. Now officially I've been most eastern province. I've been the most western province and the most western part of the most western province. So, pretty cool. Here we are, guys. Nanaimo, Vancouver Island. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right, click my face, subscribe, guys. It helps me out, it helps you out, then you don't miss an upload, and hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically pick two videos, yes, that's right, two videos specifically for you, right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's gonna end, so click one quick. Let's go, let's go, and have a great day.